Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of the small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is a natural double terminated quartz crystal. Nikola Tesla believed that crystals were living entities and once wrote. In the crystal, we have a clear record of the existence of a formative life principle, and although we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. Tesla often referred to them in his studies, and even today, the crystal's powers have scientists almost baffled. Tesla did many tests using crystals as they were a huge inspiration to him. He learned that when you resonate a quartz crystal, it creates a piezoelectric field, and that field emanates into the surrounding ether. This information led him to create healing machines and to help him understand the energy produced by the Earth. But many of you do not know that Tesla never went to the doctor as he used his machines to heal of any ailments. We need to recreate these machines move into the direction of Tesla's vibrational medicine. Another gem from the Illuminati card game created in 1982. Eating bugs, just what they want everyone to do. It's all a game, know the rules. On the card it says. Frankenfood. It's got genes from a firefly, a french fry, a tomato and a toyota. Genetic manipulation creates a tangy taste treat with a special side effect. Add one alignment of your choice to any place you control, as long as it doesn't have the opposite alignment already. You may not remove or reverse an alignment with this card. This requires an action from a science group. The new alignment is permanent until you remove it, you may do this at any time. Your rivals may remove it at any time by spending science actions with a total power of 6. What do you think? St. Louis Fair in the United States, 1904. The narrative claims that these buildings were created within a few years in the time of primitive technology, which is an obvious lie, and after every fair exhibition, almost all the buildings were destroyed. First question arises, why would America copy Roman style, and then destroy it after a few years? The answer is, this is not Roman style. This is much prior to the Roman building. White folk were living in America way before Christopher Columbus officially discovered it. They stole our buildings and our history. Tartarian culture had to be buried at all cost. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. New is forgotten old, history seems to be repeating itself. This is a depiction of advanced technology, located at the Sun Temple of India, which look exactly like modern mobile phones and tablets. What do you think? Ancient pictures depicting UFOs. These pictures are actually taken from the different temples or churches. It's definitely not about little green metallic aliens that the Hollywood industry is purposely trying to sell you, in order to manipulate you into believing that hostile aliens exist. Those movies serve a purpose, so that they can pave the way for their fake alien invasion psyop. 
in regards to real aliens. We are those extraterrestrials. We are that highly technologically advanced civilization. The ones which arrived here eons ago from the Garden of Eden. Brani Kai Wav is an amazing structure. Brani Kai Wav is a very complex structure, a multi-stage well, which is located in the city of Peyton in India. It is 64 meters long, 20 meters wide and 24 meters deep. It is believed to have been built in the 11th century. However, archaeological work here almost never happened, because for many years, the well was flooded by the Saraswati River, and as a result, all covered with silt. Only at the end of the 20th century began to clear it. Looking at what has been cleared, we see that Rani Kai Wav is not only a work of art, but also a testimony to the incredible technology of the past. Archaeologists found the remains of ancient buildings in Yerevan. The chief architect of Yerevan said. Firstly, these are not monuments, but basements of ruined houses. Secondly, they were not destroyed, but covered with sand for future generations. First of all, where did the window openings come from in the basements? And second, if they were backfilled for later generations, how did you manage to lose them? In one of the oldest Indian temples of Mahabalipuram, stands a basalt column about 1.5 meters high, the original height was 4 meters. Unlike other artifacts, the pillar was lucky to be examined and measured by researchers. To begin with, the pillar with 16 facets, is made of basalt, 6 to 7 points on the Mohs scale. On the left, are the calculations on the model, needed to hold out the perfectly flat facets. On the right, are the results of measurements, exactly 157.5 degrees, as in the calculations. Historians would try at least once to make calculations and cut such a column without a single error, even by 0.5 degrees with a hammer and chisel. Though, what for, if they pay for the sounding of already accepted versions? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.